Hi guys, I'm Laura Batali. It is a busy weeknight. And what do you need? A 10 minute dinner. What do I need? Pasta. So I'm gonna merge the two together. We're doing a 10 minute creamy, delicious Borsten pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach and basil and it is absolutely phenomenal. The thing that takes the absolute longest by the way, I have my trays in because you guys know I'm doing Invisalign. So if I have a bit of a lisp, it's because I got new trays in this week and they're tight. So bear with me. Um, the thing that takes the longest is for the water to come to a boil. But luckily, we're there. So we're going to add the pasta in. I'm using these long fusilli because I think they're so fun and they're so delicious. But any pasta will do. Any pasta sheep will do. Campanelle, like the little bells, particularly good here as well. Hold on. I'm looking for some tongs. Can't see under here. I need a light. I need a light under there. Um, but really, that's the part that takes the longest is for the pasta water to come to a boil. But once it does, everything else comes together really, really quickly, and you're gonna love it. Who does not need 10 minute meals? And if you wanted to add some cut up chicken breast to this and add some more protein, by all means, go for it. I do not need that oil. Um, by all means, go for it. I'm just using the cheese, because I'm gonna do some bread on the side. It's got spinach in it, some dried tomatoes. These are sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil, which is really important, because I'm adding the whole thing in there. And when they cook, they get plump and yummy and delicious, and it's just fantastic. I'm using the, the garlic and herb is my favorite, but so is the chive and basil. So delicious. So by all means, use whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna take some shallots, you could just as easily use an onion. I just find shallots to be a little bit more mild. They cook faster, which I always appreciate. Um, and I always have to happen to have them on hand, so I might as well use them up. If you don't have sun-dried tomatoes, use a couple of uh, handfuls of cherry tomatoes. Cut them in half. You don't have cherry tomatoes? Use uh, a, whatever tomato you got and give it a roughly chop chop. Easy and simple. You don't have tomatoes at all? Don't use tomatoes. You have frozen spinach, use frozen spinach. Just make sure you thaw it first and you rinse out, you know, you wring out all the water. By all means, take this as inspiration to do something that takes 10 minutes, but it's rich and it's delicious and it's creamy and it's comforting and it's just really beyond. You have got some shrimp, put some shrimp in there. You want to chop up a chicken breast and throw it in there? Don't make me, don't let me tell you not to. I wouldn't tell you not to. Um, just, you know. Tailor it to what you have. Depending on where you are in the world, you will find some kind of yummy spreadable cheese situation. I really like Borsen, but like I said, you might find something completely different, but it would work anyway. So use whatever you find, whatever you've got on hand. It's just so nice because it gives you all of the creaminess and the richness and the flavor with just really one ingredient. So. Shallots are all chopped up, adding them right in with the sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm gonna chop up some garlic as well. And it already smells so delicious, so delicious. Adding the garlic in, and I'm also gonna add a few leaves of basil. This just kind of infuses the oil, gives you flavor from the off, you know? Oh, it smells so good. Honestly, you don't want to add the poison, add the pasta directly to this, okay? A little bit of pasta water, some parmigiano. How bad can that be? Not bad at all. That looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my spinach, which I know looks like a lot, but you know what happens to spinach. It is gonna turn out to be nothing by the time we're done. It cooks down really, really quickly. I wanna hit this with a pinch of salt, not a lot, because you're gonna add a whole thing of borsin and you already salted your boiling water. So I don't wanna to add too much because otherwise, well, I'll be too salty. Nobody wants that. So I'm just gonna mix this in here until the spinach is wilted. And then we add the borsin. As you can see, the spinach has cooked down to ooh, practically nothing. You're gonna take your borsin Stick that right in the center. I'm taking some of that starchy pasta water, running it around the edges, like so. And then just work it in until it's all melted and gooey and delicious and creamy. And it will come together. You're just gonna have to give it a minute. And yeah, we've got some parmigiana on hand. The pasta is almost ready. 
and then it's done. And just you wait until you taste this because it is so delicious, you cannot even imagine. It just all somehow works together so well. And I love a good pasta dish that feels luxe, you know, feels rich, feels luxurious, but I don't got time. <laughs> and when I'm hungry and I don't have time, it's the worst. That is the worst, but look, just like that. Easy peasy. I'm keeping this on warm because I don't need this to bubble up like crazy because I'm just waiting a couple more minutes for that pasta to be done. And then we basically unite everything and then we pull it all together. Just kind of take my cooked pasta. I need some of that starchy cooking water. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna tong it right in there. Just be real careful because these long noodles can be quite tricky. But I'm also gonna, man, that's a big pot. What was I thinking? I'm short and I don't have a stool down here. So it's hard for me to see, but I think we're there. I think we are there. I'm gonna grab a little more starchy water. It kind of helps pull everything together and gives it more viscosity, um, you know, more movement. Black pepper. I need some parmigiano, you know? Little parmigiano, little pecorino, whatever you want. I grated it on my thick box grater. So you know it is gonna be good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's so yummy. If you are gonna double up this recipe and use a whole pound of pasta, which I only use eight ounces, I mean the smaller batch, um, use obviously double everything. Two borsins and all that jazz, because you need all that. Look at down here. Look at this saucy, saucy goodness. You see that? Yeah, let the pasta cook in there because I really want it to absorb. That's why you, you take it out about a minute or so shy of being al dente because you want it to finish cooking in that sauce for that last minute so that it can really absorb the flavor. The sauce will a little bit cling to the pasta and then just be delicious. So give it a minute and then we serve. That looks just glorious if I do say so myself. I'm trying not to scrape my pan, okay? Don't come for me. Look at that. Uh, you know that's gonna be good. You know that that's gonna be good. I don't have my grater for my cheese. It's okay. I need a little heat. I think it all just needs a little bit of heat. When I serve it, I'm gonna put more Parmigiano on top because um, uh, uh, obviously, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do and I know what I gotta do. All right, hold on, because it's gonna be hot. That literally, the pasta water having to come to a boil took the longest of everything else. Mm. Mm hmm. That is everything. That is everything. It's so good and it's so delicious and simple and quick. Please keep this on hand to keep this recipe in your back pocket so that anytime you need something really fast and easy, you'll turn to it. And guess what? Kids really love this. Just if your kid is anything like mine, I can't add the spinach. She'll eat around the tomato, the, the sun-dried tomatoes, but she sees the spinach, she's like, absolutely not, I'm out of here. But aside from that, she loves it. And you know she's picky. So trust me when I tell you, very family friendly. Go to lara in the kitchen.com for the ring recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.